I just got a new saw stop table saw and wanted to practice some cuts. I also had some junky 2x4s and I wanted to see what type of quality I could get from furniture made of these 2x4s. You can see where this is going, so let's get started. Oh yeah, and for no reason at all, I'm going to see how many similes I can stuff into this video, which, in my brain, sounds about as funny as a penguin in a sombrero. And look at that fun little counter, it's as slick as a cat's poop on linoleum. I used three 8-foot 2x4s to make this stool. They're the typical garbage level wood you get at those big orange or blue stores. You know, the kind that looks great in the giant bundle, but once you get them home, they're as crooked as a barrel full of snakes. Because the 2x4s are as twisted as a soft pretzel, I decided to cut them into pieces before planing them flat. The idea is to cut these to length, then plane, then rip them so I can get two usable pieces out of each 2x4 section. Before we get too far, have a look at this amazing set of plans I made, which is about as high tech as a hammer. Not including the seat, we'll get to that later, all the pieces are one and a half inches by one and a quarter inches in width and thickness. If I was doing this again, I would just make them one and a quarter inch squares. Obviously, I could just buy two by twos, which are one and a half inch square, and use those, but that would defeat the purpose of trying out this new saw stop table saw. Since we can get two pieces out of each section of 2x4, that means we need two 18 inch 2x4s, then one 9 and 3 quarter inch 2x4, and two 15 and 3 quarter inch 2x4s. Because this YouTube channel is so bad, I'm as poor as a church mouse and couldn't afford a joiner. So I also decided to play around with using a planer as a joiner with decent results. So that's why I'm shimming and hot gluing my 2x4s down. It was fun once. Then it was about as fun as herding cats, so time to buy a joiner. So a bit of planing to get things flat and down to the one and a quarter inch thickness. So we have our two by fours cut the length, plane to thickness of the one and a quarter inches. Now we need to rip them to the proper width. Set your table saw to an inch and a half and slide them all through using a push stick to make it as easy as falling off a moss covered log during rainy season. I wanted to use lap joints glued together, so no screws or nails at all here. To do that, you normally pop in your dado blade. I actually have a dado stack, but didn't yet have the specialized dado break for my saw stop. So now I'm doing this the slow way. And let me tell you, this is as slow as cold molasses on a January morning. But it shows what can be done without a dado stack setup, if you have the patience. The seat is made from three sections of 2x4. I cut them to 16 inches long, ripped a slice off the edges so they had flat surface, and glued them together to create a slab that was roughly 10 by 16 inches. A day later, when the glue was dry, I fed the slab through the planer to make both sides flat with a final thickness of 1 and a quarter inch. Then I trimmed all sides for a final 15 and 3 quarter by 9 and 3 quarter size. Of course, I wanted a luxury stool, so I ran a quarter inch roundover bit along all sides in the top, and she's as luxurious as an old sofa on your front porch. The bottom of the seat needs a dado slot on each long side about a half inch deep. Easy when you have your dado stack and saw stop dado break. Harder when you don't. So you'd better be as patient as a gator waiting for lunch on a lake with one bird if you're doing this with a single saw blade. Once all your pieces are cut, you can do a quick dry fit to make sure they all fit as expected. Then it's time to glue things up and clamp things down so they're as tight as a drum. Glue one side up, then the other. Once dry, glue those pieces to the seat and the short side pieces. Add leveling feet, paint it or poly it, finish it however you want, and you're pretty much done. This is actually the first furniture type thing that I've made in a long time. You know, one that I actually wanted to come out kind of nice, even though I was making it with two by fours. So I was as nervous as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs, but it turned out really nice. Part of this experiment was to also see how well this junk wood would hold up over time. I made this almost a year ago, and even today it looks great. No cracking, splitting, or warping. You might even say it's as pretty as a peach, and I'm as happy as a dead pig in the sunshine. And this is the part where I ask you to like and subscribe. Do it if you want, skip it if you don't.